Hi everyone. Here's a short screencast that's showing uh, one of my favorite constructions. It's something I've been working on for the last month or so. It's captured my attention. Hopefully, hopefully it will capture your attention as well. Um, what I've done is I've constructed a triangle, triangle ABC. Uh, the centroid of the triangle is located at the origin, which is G. Um, B can be moved and A can be moved as well. I, I will leave B alone and I will just move point A and C will move in concert with point A. Um, you know, this problem as an old geometry teacher, I taught geometry for a long time, um, so I like triangle things. Now, I've been teaching statistics recently, and so what I did with these three points, A, B, and C, is I calculated the correlation coefficient. And then I also took these three points and I plotted those points using standardized coordinates. So I took the coordinates of point A, turned them into z-scores, and I plotted that point there. Likewise with point B, take the coordinates, turn them into z-scores, that gave you point ZB, and likewise with C, turn the coordinates into z-scores. So in, in, in essence, this is kind of a transformation. Um, it's certainly not linear, but it is a transformation, but it got me to think about like uh, what happens when points A, B, and C have a correlation of zero. So let me see if I can get point A somewhere close. Oh, there you go. So it, it seems that uh, wh when I get very close to zero, it looks like the standardized coordinates lie on a uh, lie on an equilateral triangle or, or form an equilateral triangle. And uh, it is the case, I'm not going to prove it now, but it, it is uh, kind of a cool little property, but it does make sense. When the correlation is zero, I would like these three points to be as far away from each other as possible, and uh, I think that would have to be the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Um, the other thing I was also interested in was uh, Obviously, point A could be at a couple of different places. This is just one place, so let me capture the point. I'm going to capture the coordinates of point A and point C. But it's possible that maybe uh, point A could be somewhere else. So let's see if I can get to find another spot with A. It's a little kind of jumpy. There you go. So I'm getting somewhere. So let's see what happens. And so that's, that's pretty... Oh, there's zero. So let me capture that. And then um, I'm going to see if I can find some other points where uh, the, the correlation coefficient is also zero. So you can see there, um, well, there are obviously more than, <laughs> more than two points. And I could find a couple of other points as well. My guess is there's going to be another one right there and there somewhere. That's pretty close. My guess there's going to be another one out here somewhere. That's pretty close. And so these points seem to kind of form a uh, seem to form a shape, which might seem a little similar to you guys. So it, it does it does turn out that uh, indeed, if point A were to move along this hyperbola, then the correlation of those three points would always be zero. And this idea works with any kind of shape. I don't need to necessarily use a triangle. I originally did this problem using a uh, using points on a parabola, five points on a parabola. I moved one of the points, and th this still worked. Um, the amazing thing is the asymptotes of the parabola. The asymptotes of the parabola um, intersect at the midpoint of A and C. And it seems to me that as I move B around, the hyperbola should also move around as well and give me a new kind of a path for me to move on. And so, sure enough, the equation does involve only the coordinates of point B. And it does take the form of a hyperbola. So this is something I'm kind of working on. Um, a lot of things to prove, a lot of, a lot of ideas that are kind of going around in my head. If you'd like to help me with it, my email's up here at the top shoot me an email and I can share this file with you as well. So that's my favorite construction that's kind of occupied by time for the last month or so. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See ya. Thanks.